Hey guys, what's up? We're back with some more Warframe action. We're here in Cetus. Hey, heck. He has toxin enough to destroy the boiler, but no. We're going to be talking to Konzo. Why? To see the infested succeed where he has failed. To see them destroy Cetus. Time for Plague Star. Let's do this. Right, the See you soon. Now, I believe I have set this on solo, I believe. Yes, I have. I was beginning to think it would never touch us here. You'll be wondering, hey, shouldn't you bring some friends? Like, I'm sure there's pretty good auto matchmaking. Well, yeah, but, you know, video title. I need you to take the Hex Toxin and kill the boil. Okay, let's go and get the Toxin. So the toxin is essentially like a medicine. And uh, we're gonna use it. If you haven't done if you haven't done Plague Star before, it's essentially an event that happens every so often. A rather popular event actually on the planes. Everybody does like like it when uh, Plague Star comes back. Probably because of the rewards. You get free former out of it. There's plague zores that are super duper good. So we'll go and try and build one again. Uh, there's all sorts of wonderful things. But yeah. The threat toxin! The tunnel maggots want my toxin! Stop them! Whoops. Got the cops happening outside. Toxin. Whoa, that's janky. You hear that? That's a thumper. We're not gonna deal with the thumper today. Uh, well, I'm not gonna deal with the thumper right now, anyway. The mixer is inside that vault. Clear out the area so we can use it. And so it goes. I'm sorry, little friend. Hmm. Keep them away, killer. That machine must finish its work. All right. We're going into hard mode. Immunity to the infestation. Two, three, four. Consider adding it to the mix now. Not no need. I see your clan created the infested catalyst. This is a chance. Add it to the mixer now. All done. 
So there's the Eidolon Catalyst, which is a clan tech item. And then there's the infested... Infested, infested Catalyst. Eidolon Phylaxis and Infested Catalyst. They essentially make... They essentially give you more rewards, but they make the final boss... And by final boss, I mean Mini Lephantis. A little, a lot difficult, a lot more difficult to kill. Out of energy. That's a problem. I have energy again. The mixer needs more time. Put the grenier at bay. I thought they were in the sniper's nest. Guess not. I know. My eyeballs are stingy just looking at that stuff. Go shove it into the boil. Now we need to fight a drone. Ugh. We'll fall off a rock. A grenier drone will serve as an optimal delivery system. I've marked one on your map. Gotta ride 1 million meters or 1,000 kilometers. The K drive. That's going to take a while. For some, I I take it it's going, it's going to be actually an impossible achievement. We don't use K drives all that much. This is probably as good a video as any to give my thoughts about the K drive. I feel like. With with the recent discussion on K drives and arc waves and, was, and how we can like balance it out so that people would consider using K drives more, I'm just using the K drive because I find it fun. Uh, but on a on a like numbers basis, on a pure objective fact basis, it's quite obvious that the arc wing is a lot better. This seems to be like how in in general. Like in general travel, um, air is ultimately faster than land, but air is, in this case, well, in, in IRL settings, air is less accessible than land because you actually need like an airport, generally speaking, or a helipad or something rather. Anyway, I'm getting out, of, I'm getting away from what I'm just trying to say. The problem with buffing K drives, in terms of speed, is that there is a cap where K drives become too fast and have to become uncontrollable. Anyone who has played a racing game would probably know that there are sometimes vehicles that are available to choose from that are super duper extra tier fast 
but because they're super duper fast they actually become really difficult to control now if you happen to be really really good at controlling a super duper fast car then you also happen to be really good at a racing game and good for you that's awesome but generally speaking at least from my experience super duper fast cars or super duper fast whatever vehicle it is end up becoming super duper difficult to control sometimes it's because the vehicle compensates in the game so that it's at least slightly balanced by reducing the mobility or the controllability or the, the handling of the of that particular vehicle sometimes it's just because it's fast therefore it's difficult to control for example, in Wipeout, one of the games that I like to play, you know, Wipeout 204A, Wipeout Pure, Wipeout, etc. Uh, the Piranha class of ships tends to be really difficult to control, but they also tend to be the fastest. That's also because they actually have lower handling, possibly as a way of um, balancing out the game, so that you don't just pick the fastest car, and, or in this case, fastest ship, and then just move on. But otherwise, it's kind of it's kind of inherent that a fast vehicle will become difficult to control. This is a little bit different to Arcwing, where because you're in the air and generally speaking because you have a lot of space to fly around in, you don't necessarily feel like bad handling is going to be that big of a deal. Case in point, any of the Grenier Arcwing missions, you'll tend to find that you're way better off at controlling your arc wing whereas in the porpoise ones the trench runs you'll find that you're a lot more dip you'll find it a lot more difficult because you're slamming into walls to kill uh just a side thing to kill the hema site hema hema site we are going to be using our heavy weapons because the way that lephantis and hema sites work Rapid fire weapons are much more effective than, say, a bow. So, no, no comment about, hey, why don't you use your bows? You're the platinum arrow. None of that, please. Thank you. So, as I was saying, at some point, it's going to be difficult to buff the speed of an a K drive because at some point, it's actually going to become, it's going to be in the detriment of the K drive. Now, what is that detriment? I don't know. I feel like the way they are right now is rather, like they're still rather easy to control, so you can probably buff it a little bit faster than they are right now, but not that much faster afterwards. This, this particular head is always a problem. Two minutes. Don't know why I just did that. That's totally unnecessary. Polarize is not particularly useful against infested. Whatever. So I need to find some heavy units. Try and use my Sinod Gamma Core. It's not as effective. Uh, it's a, I guess it's okay, but it's not as effective as as my Arc Gun, at least. Definitely getting knocked down is not good. That's why one of my favorite Exodus mods is, in fact, Prime Sure Footed. Magnificence. But 
Still no heavy ammo. Seconds. Here we go. Energy at least. If I get heavy ammo now, I would actually be really pissed. Turning around. Someone's doing toxin damage to me. Heavy ammo. I could even see the heavy ammo come to me, so that's good. So now none of that waiting anymore. We actually did get that heavy ammo, that's good. Hiya! Oh, watch out! Polarized work on Hemocide? Really? Interesting. Well, that changes everything. Lol, I didn't even realize that. Whoa. I've played this game for so long, I didn't even realize that. Polarized works on Hemocide. Uh-uh, uh-uh, it's not good. Come on, 
on, come 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 on. Nope, not yet. Come on. That's the way. Well, you got the reaction. Big as a house and half as small. I get the feeling I don't actually have enough ammo for this. Possibly because there's not enough bloody heavy units! Open up! Oh, I got a heavy ammo! Sweet! Radiation damage on this, I should probably do corrosive damage. Whoa! Ouch! And you can see it coming! Ah, shit. This ain't good. How long? 59 seconds. Okay. Let's see what I can do with my arrows. Finally. Alright, your turn. Aha! Damn it! Fighter from a range.
Come on, 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 come on. There we go. That's it. Done. You are not welcome on Kanzu's blades, nothing. Nice work, number one gun. We're breathing easier back here. During these dark nights, see this. Not the best run. Ended up dying. Proper. But we managed to get through it. I mean, that is why we have revives. It's why I have two arcanes fully maxed out. Don't really want to use them. But it's part of the game. So yeah, anyway, hope you guys enjoy this. Wow, half an hour battle. If you did hit the like button, if you really enjoyed it, maybe consider subscribing to the channel. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Literally like hobbling back. Bye!